We continue my universal VHS collection with the Naughty Professor, which was issued as MCA 8 to 594 on November 19th, 1996. This is a great film that marked a great comeback for Eddie Murphy after almost eight years of films I didn't hear were all that great. <coughs> this tape was printed during the 39th week of 1996. It has previews for the 1996 remake of Flipper and Apollo 14 at the beginning. The last MCE Universal tape I have is the VHS of Daylight, from November 11th, 1997. Number is 82828. It has previews for Fierce Creatures, I'm Not Rappaport, and the film soundtrack. It has a 10 minute behind the scenes feature right at the end. It was printed during the 42nd week of 1997. We begin the list of titles I have on plain old Universal with the widescreen edition of the landmark 1960 to film to kill a mockingbird. This tape was printed during the ninth week of 1999. Actually, that would be the third week of 1999. Sometimes I get things wrong and I cannot help it. The next tape, with the holographic T-Rex card, is The Lost World, Jurassic Park, which was originally released on November 4th, 1997. It is my mom's favorite of the Jurassic Park series thus far mainly for its having a T-Rex stomping all over San Diego. This tape was printed during the 43rd week of 1997. I earlier put a print date of September 2nd, 1997. This opens with an ad for Mercedes-Benz. The Canadian release, which I don't have as a Canadian Treasures segment. This was the first film released with the 1997 Universal logo. Next we have Naughty Yo, released on November 9th, 1999. This title was purchased from Blockbuster Video in February 8, 2000. February 28, 2000, rather. This tape was printed during the 43rd week of 1997. I earlier put a print date of September. It was printed during the 41st week of 1999. It has previews for Aaron Brockovich, which Columbia distributed overseas, plus a joint preview for this and the love letter, and other previews for the Red Violin, the story of us, the best man, and the love letter. It's a bit redundant to preview one film twice in a single tape, don't you think? Next, we have Jaws, the legendary 1975 film from Steven Spielberg, a landmark of Universal's 1970s. This title was printed during the 24th week of 2000, and recycled from tapes printed during the 38th and 39th weeks of 1997. This has a preview for the collector's edition of Jurassic Park, which is ironic.
Now on to another copy of this thing. This was printed during the 37th week of 2001. This next tape is of Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I heard this was meant to suffer in comparison with the 1966 version from Chuck Jones. I am willing to watch it during the summer, as I have an apparent observation of Christmas in July. Because this is a Christmas movie from 2000, it's through an act of logic was released on VHS November 20, 2001. It was printed during the 37th week of 2001. Now we have Rear Window, also from the jolly fat man they call Alfred Hitchcock. It's a special edition release, as it has a making of at the end. This was printed during the Dix week of 2001. Next we have the lit action remake of the Hanna-Barbera cartoon classic Josie and the Pussycats. The tape has previews for The Family Man, The Mummy Returns, Shrek, Head Over Heels, Tremors 3, and the film soundtrack. This movie is also from MGM, who released it through 20th Century Fox outside of the United States. This was printed during the 27th week of 2001. Now here's the awards edition of the 2001 Academy Award winning Best Picture, A Beautiful Mind. This is also a DreamWorks film. DreamWorks distributed this film overseas. It has a behind the scenes feature right at the end. It has previews for E. Point D, Back to the Future, Boss Forward Park, K90 Point I, and an ad for the film soundtrack at the beginning. It was printed during the 27th week of 2002. It was released on VHS and DVD June 25th, 2002. Next, we have Gosford Park, which is one of the last movies made by USA Films to the extent where this tape holder is on Universal. That was the way in which this film was released on June 25th, 2002. This tape has previews for A Beautiful Mind, Brotherhood of the Wolf, and Dragonfly at the beginning. This tape was purchased from Blockbuster in February 23, 2003. It was printed during Printed during the 22nd week of 2002. The 
The final release I get as far as American tapes are concerned is The Emperor's Club. It was issued in September 2nd, 2003. It has previews for the Guru, catch me, if you can in Far From Heaven. This was printed during the 32nd week of 2003. I have two Japanese Universal tapes. One of them is the 1995 release of The River Wild. Both of the Japanese tapes are CIC releases. This came from the sound shop, which offers a large choice of tape and disc apparently. It has previews for Congo, IQ, and the paper at the beginning. The other one I have is Patch Adams, released in 1999. It has previews for Bass Get Ball, Shakespeare in Love, which is on this tape because the Miramax film was internationally released by Universal, and a teaser for The Mummy. That does it for this series of videos.